Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you three simple and easy tips to potty train your dog at home. First thing is intake of food and water. Now I know that this sounds silly, but again, people overwhelm themselves with all these different things. And the reality is, is if your dog eats and drinks, they're gonna have to pee and poop. And so making sure that your dog is on a schedule, especially when you first come home with your puppy to make sure that you know when your dog is gonna have to go. Puppies will eat and drink as much as they possibly can until they're sick. So you really wanna make sure that you're also monitoring how much water and food your dog gets. Now food, that makes a lot more sense to people. That's something that everyone talks about and applies. But water is again, one of those things. My dog's thirsty, my dog's thirsty. Puppies are going to drink and eat as much as you give them. So you have to be really careful how much water you give them and you need to manage their food and water intake. I suggest a schedule for your puppy, making sure you know exactly when your dog is getting water and how much and how much food your dog is getting and when. That'll really be helpful for you and your family as your puppy training throughout the process. Next is going to be time management. Puppies, bladders, and stomachs are very small, so they're gonna to have to go out and go potty a lot more than an adult dog. So making sure that you get your puppy out as often as you possibly can when you're home to eliminate or limit the amount of accidents your puppy has. It also is a great opportunity to teach your dog that going outside is really great and going inside is not so great. So with Remy, as you guys have been seeing him on my YouTube channel with the puppy series, we've been putting him into his crate after a bit and then we're putting him outside to go potty and then back into training. But right before we go back into the crate, he goes back outside to go potty. So you just have to make sure that you have this cycle to set your dog up for success throughout the day. So a lot of you guys go to work. What are you gonna do with your puppy while you're at work? How is it gonna affect your potty training? Well, it is definitely gonna be significant because your puppy cannot hold their bladder for a full day's work while you're at work. So make sure that you're setting your dog up for success by having a dog walker come over, sending your puppy to daycare, if applicable, if they're old enough. Also having a friend or a family member stop over to let your dog out throughout the day while you're at work. But you need to make sure that you set up something for success with your dog because puppies, is like getting a new baby. Your whole world is going to change. You have to make sure that you're holding yourself accountable when you get a new puppy to set them up for success. If you don't have the means to bring your dog to a doggy daycare or you don't have somebody that's gonna be coming over to help you, make sure your dog is in an environment that is easy for you to clean up and they can safely get away from their feces and their pee throughout the day. I know not everybody has an opportunity to have somebody come over, so putting them into a crate all day is not fair to them. It definitely is not gonna be uh, fun for you when you get home to clean up that mess. So make sure that you put your dog into an X-Pen in an environment that's easy for you to clean if you can't have somebody come over and let him out throughout the day. Good potty, good potty. Should you punish your dog if they have an accident? And if you don't catch them in the act, I don't think it's gonna make much sense for you to punish them after the fact. Some people do it, they take their nose and they rub it in there and that's just preference and discretionary on what you wanna do. Me personally, if I don't catch them in the act, I'm not gonna make a big deal about it because I don't know if they're gonna understand what I'm telling them is wrong because it's already after the fact. So if you catch your dog peeing inside or pooping inside, all you would do is make it unpleasant for them. So you'd run over and kind of startle them as they're doing that and then you would bring them outside. But on the contrary and on the contrast, you also really need to make sure that, again, you're rewarding your dog when you go outside. Good potty, good potty, go potty, good potty. And you're, again, like we talked about, your schedule is making sense for this dog. So the more you're on top of your schedule and the more you're following along in this video, the less likely you're gonna have mistakes or accidents in the house. So some of you, including myself, may be thinking about a bell scenario, bell conditioning your dog, or using some sort of alert system to help your dog understand when they have to go outside. Now this is something that you can do in conjunction with this whole process and the video that we've been talking about. Every single time you guys go outside, you go out a specific door and you ring a bell, which essentially will mean for the dog, every time they go to that glass door and it slides open to go outside, you're dinging that bell. Once the dog understands and compartmentalizes that they shouldn't be going to the potty inside and they, they find it in, uncomfortable to go inside, they need to know how to let you know to go outside. And that is where the bell comes into play. You go up to the door, ding, outside. Up to the door, ding, outside. Times 100 throughout the week. Then the dog will know, in order to open this, I have to hit this. Kind of like a garage door opener. That's something that you guys can do in conjunction of all of this, but the bell system isn't going to work until your dog understands what it means. And what it means is that door opens. So throughout this whole video, 
ring your bell or any type of noise maker so you can hang bells from the, the door or you can put a little uh, ding bell that you can get. But either way, if you condition your dog to understand what the bell means, then over time, once your dog understands how to potty train, you can use that in the future. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys wanna win a free one-on-one -on -one session with me virtually, all you guys have to do to enter to win is like this video, leave a comment in the comments below, turn on your notifications. Last video's winner is right here. Congratulations, I'll see you guys next time.